What's up, guys? Tony Hannity's here with Lazy Tech TV, and the title was a little bit misleading. It's not that this device can let you into any Windows 10 computer. It's that it'll let you into any Windows 10 computer that is yours. And essentially, it is a fingerprint reader. This isn't anything new. Fingerprint readers are, well, they're quite old. And when it comes to Windows 10 technology, they've pretty much been there since the beginning of Windows 10's inception, thanks to Windows Hello. Actually, let's go ahead and change this up here because I don't necessarily want you to see what's happening behind here. So let's do, that's better. That's a lot better. Okay, so Windows Hello encompasses pretty much any biometric methodology for you to log into your computer. So instead of using a password, instead of using a pin, you can use facial recognition if you have a Windows Hello capable webcam, or in this case, a fingerprint reader. Lots of laptops have this already. There's some Lenovo's, there's some HP's, and the list goes on and on. But desktops generally don't. And for me, I've been using, you know, a pin to log into this desktop here. But thanks to this from Kensington, I no longer have to. This is called, what's it called? This is called the Veramark fingerprint key. And it's essentially USB powered, just plugs in directly into your USB port. I would preferably put it into a USB port that you're going to be accessing quite often. Putting it on the back doesn't make sense at all. So hopefully you have some freed up USB ports on the front of your computer. I'm doing this, you can't see it, but the front of my computer is right here. L let's go ahead and cut to a shot of the front of my computer. Wow, look at the front of my computer. It is so beautiful as the front. And that is where my USB ports are. So essentially I would just plug that directly in there. You don't necessarily need to even download any kind of drivers. It's pretty much plug and play. And thanks to Windows Hello, in the settings of your Windows 10 computer, you just configure fingerprint and you can configure up to 10 fingers that this can recognize on your account. So if you can use this, or you'd rather use this, or you'd rather use your thumb, uh, it really doesn't matter. Or if you're left-handed or it happens to be on your left side, do that. Do both. It doesn't matter. If you're concerned, this is FIDO certified and it has nothing to do with a dog. But if you want to know a little bit more about FIDO and what that all is, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But in essence, uh, having it FIDO certified for security, for the purpose of you being able to log into your computer, this particular device, you can really feel safe that this is going to do the thing you want it to do and not maliciously do anything else like send data to an enemy state or something like that. And of course, on your computer, if the fingerprint doesn't work, your fallback will, whether it be a password or a pin, or if you have a touchscreen, you could use the pattern, whatever it is, it will still work. So your computer can be as secure as you want it to be. So let me know in the comment section down below, how do you secure your computer? Is your password password or password one, two, three, four, five, because they won't ever guess that. Come on. Is there another security measure that you have that you think might be really cool for us to take a look at? Please leave that in the comment section down below. Links as always can be found in the description down below. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I myself am a streamer on Mixer. So if you like games, go check that out. And a buddy of mine and I also have a podcast called the Still Recording Podcast. We'd love for you to come and check it out. Just a couple of dudes talking about nothing. It's the Seinfeld method. Just it's a in a podcast about nothing. And it's working for us. And we'd love for you to be a part of that audience as well, too. So until the next time, late. Hi.